हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम टू डे इलेवन सेशन ऑफ मास्टरिंग स्प्रिंग बूट सो इन दिस सेशन वी फोकसिंग ऑन वैलिडेशन ओके सो इन यू डिजाइन एनी ए पी आईज ओके सो ए पी आईज कंटेन वेरियस वेरिएबल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू डिजाइन रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑपरेशन ओके तो रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑपरेशन कंटेन लाइक मोबाइल नंबर देन ई मेल आई डी ओके सो यू टू वैलिडेट दैट ओके सो यू कैन अचीव बाई यूजिंग ई फेल्स कंडीशन बट यू नीड टू लाइट राइट लॉर्ड्स ऑफ बॉयर पेड कोड फॉर दिस ओके to remove that boilerplate code uh, spring provide a validation module okay uh, by using that modulation module you can use the annotation inbuilt annotation and achieve that okay so there are certain step to achieve uh, the validation process okay first is you need to add a maven dependency okay uh, let's add this in a pom file okay let's open your pom.xml file and just copy paste this okay and click on save okay then automatically this dependency download from pom okay after that uh, spring provide various annotation so as per your requirement you can use this annotation for example for not blank you can use not black annotation not uh, null over there then not empty over there then if you have mobile number you to give a minimum value as eight digit okay after that um, if you want to any uh, validate a credit card number you can use this for email id email id annotation over there okay so let's try to validate uh, our one dto class okay so uh, take like uh, update blog request so update blog request contain a uh, five parameters okay so blog id is required title also required description also required and publish also required and user id required okay so you can use for this it is all string parameters one is boolean so for string we need to all parameters not blank you can use it directly not blank annotation blank and uh, so after giving not blank annotation you need to provide a proper error message like uh, so user get idea like uh, i am missing a blog id i need to provide that in a request body okay so just give proper me message like uh, blog uh, id is um, required parameter blog id is required parameter required parameter okay and use one full stop okay after that um, title is also required okay just copy this uh, whole stuff and paste over here okay description also required okay user id also required okay just uh, give a proper message like title then copy this description okay and after that uh, copy this user id okay blog id okay Uh, okay so for boolean we not give like not blanks for for that you need to use not null annotation okay so that's fill is uh, mandatory so give some proper message like published uh, key is required okay let's copy this uh, publish is a required parameter publish is a required parameter okay okay so uh, let's talk cross check everything okay okay all looks good okay so we done with uh, validating our update block request a dto class okay i am not going to write all codes for all uh, dto classes i, I will uh, do the code changes and i will push to a uh, github repository uh you can refer from there okay so after that uh, we need to uh, add use one more annotation control level validated okay and valid annotation over there which is used in a method method level okay but uh, i will cover this uh, when we design our controller class okay yeah so that's it uh, from today's video okay in next video we focusing on a controller class and in that controller we write our uh, all logic okay thank you so much for watching